What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Let's Play. In the previous episode, we did catch Cresselia, and in today's video, we're actually going to uh, explore the rest of the battle area here, which means we're going to head off to the east towards the resort area so we can check that out and see if there's anything cool over there. But before we do that, uh, make sure you make sure you hit that like button for me because it would be very, very much appreciated, and why don't you hit that subscribe button as well. But before we get into that, Let's do a quick team recap, um, because we haven't done a re team recap in a couple episodes because we've been catching some legendaries again. We got Frigidaire, our Rotom at level 67, holding to the leftovers, of course. Modest Natured with Hex, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, and Blizzard. We got Drips, our Flareon at level 67 with Facade, Flare Blitz, Lava Plume, and Bite. We got Join our Torterra at level 77 with Crunch, Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, and EQ. We got Anubis, our Lucario, at level 73, with Laser Focus, Nasty Plot, Aura Sphere, and Flash Cannon. We got Lisla, our Shiny Altaria, at level 82, with Rain Dance, Dragon Pulse, Hurricane, and Moon Blast. And then we got Trident, our Manaphy, at level 74, with Tail Glow, Surf, Acid Armor, and Ice Beam. And that is our squad. Let's go ahead and get move on. Over to Route 230. Is there berries over here? Ah, oh, I must have already picked them. When the hell would I have picked those berries, though? I I think... Hold on, before we... This theme is, like, my favorite... One of my favorite themes. Of, like... The, uh... I guess post-game soundtracks, if you would call them that. That's weird. What? How does that? What's that counter for? Is that how many Pokemon I've seen of like the same kind? Because I swear, I feel like I've seen more of like different Pokemon than those, but I could be wrong. Oh, I don't have a repel spray. Oh, hey, it's a seal. I already have a dugong though, so I'm afraid I don't have a whole lot of use for you, buddy. 37 as well. Yeah, we're, we're slowly but surely getting to the end of this series. Uh, probably about 10, 15 more episodes and we're done. And even then, those episodes aren't going to be that long because we got... We got this, the resort area. We got a few more legendaries. Probably actually more towards 20 episodes, actually. We have a few more legendaries we need to catch um, in Romanus Park. We have all of the gym leader rematches, which those will be their own individual videos. Um, then we have the Elite Four rematches. And then the final, final video of the series is going to be us battling Drake, which... That video might not come out for a little while, just because he's taking his time with his LP. Whereas I'm, I mean, I, I kind of am taking my time too, but also at the same time, the fact that I'm not completely done with everything and just playing this game on my own, actually kind of says a lot. Um, I have been thinking though, and you know, if you're watching at this point in the video, you feel free to let me know if you want to see these things, because I might attempt this at some point uh, during my winter break, but would you guys be interested in seeing me stream this game? Like, if I want to do, like, Battle Tower challenges, like, if I see if I can get to, uh, like, the Master double battles or master single battles things like that would that be an interesting stream idea thing or would that be just kind of like one of those things where it's like ah, it would be kind of cool but i don't really care for it i don't know because i want to keep i want to keep this game in circulation but i also know there's going to be moments where i'm going to want to just play the game by myself and not do anything so like if i do anything series related It's probably not going to be this game. In fact, I think I kind of have a clue on what I want my next series to be directly after this. It just kind of depends on timing mainly. 
because right right now today's the sixth, um, and I know or I have an idea that I'm more than likely getting Shining Pearl for Christmas. So I don't know if I want to do a Shining Pearl Master Mode as like the next series that I do. If I, if that is the next series that I do, I want it to be a video series. And even then, it's probably going to follow the same sort of formula that the Sacred Gold Master Mode followed. In that it's probably going to be a daily, not a daily, well maybe it could be a daily upload. But I'd also have to record, I'd also have to record a lot more than that. So I'd probably have to do like three a day and record like twice a week. I mean, isn't too big of an issue, especially if I come back to school. Because I don't want to stream on school Wi-Fi because I can't tr trust that it's going to be reliable. Like, th there have been a lot of moments where my internet just dies on me when I'm like working on like an assignment or something, and it's like, bruh, this is this is so obnoxious and annoying. But, you know, sometimes I just have to deal with it because there's nothing else I can really do. I also have contemplated doing shiny hunting, but that would be through Sword and Shield, just because I won't be able to get the shiny charm unless I actually go about catching all the mons in this game. And I really, really don't want to do that. And the thing is, is I'll be missing. I probably won't even get the... I probably won't even be able to get the shiny charm because... I'll be missing, like, one Mon in the Pokédex, and that'll be, like, Darkrai, and I can't get Darkrai unless I do an event for it. Otherwise, I'll have every other Legendary, or every other Pokémon in the game, in, um, once, one, once Home drops. Which is pretty cool, actually. But... I don't know. I try to keep up to date with the event stuff, so like, I, that's why I follow a lot of things like Cerebi and things like that, because I don't want to miss out on events like that. Because a lot of the event legendaries are really, really cool, and uh, they're special, so like, I want to make sure that I have them, and it's kind of been like... Almost, I guess you could say a lifeline goal to actually complete the Pokédex. Like, I have said it before in previous uh, videos on my channel that I have done... I have technically completed the Pokédex, uh, like, this up to 6th gen, because I did do it in Oras, but then I was a dummy and accidentally formatted my DS and then deleted everything. Yeah, it was... Don't, don't want to bring up that, those times. Don't want to bring up those times, but... Now, with like 200 more, 250 more mods in the game, I definitely think I can do it. I'm really, really close to doing it. I think there's just like, again, a few of those event legendaries that I'm missing that I just need to get that the game needs to give me, but. Not the game necessarily needs to give me, but they just need to put out an event for. Because I always thought that that was cool, like, them putting events in these games. Like, if you put, um, whatchamacallit, like, in, like, Gen 3, Gen 4, and I believe Gen 5, they're going into, like, those in different areas that you rarely get to go into only for that event. Like, that would be, that'd be cool. Like, you do it once, and then on that save file. You can go back to that area, but there's nothing that's going to happen. I don't know. I feel like it'd just be, be pretty neat. And I feel like... I'm not saying, like, they shouldn't plan for a new Pokemon game at the end of 2022, but with the, them releasing Legends Arceus so soon after, it makes me wonder if they're not going to do another, I guess you would say, main game title in 2022. Which, if they don't, I mean, I won't be bothered. I just hope that they kind of 
do what they did with Sword and Shield and then add like a DLC or something to it, give additional content or maybe add more Pokemon over, like if not all the Pokemon are in this game, once home drops, just put a DLC in to, you know, put the newer mods in so everyone actually like flips the fuck out. I know I will if that does end up being a thing. So, we're here now. I guess we can take a, we'll take a bit of time to go explore down here. I don't know what all is down here, if there's anything cool in Diamond and Pearl. I know you get access to a villa in Platinum, but I don't know about, I don't know about in these games. Plus, I can't wait for home to be compatible because then all like the points I get from like having all my mods in home can be transferred over to here, and I can get BP for this game instead of Sword and Shield, which makes me like, which makes me realize I should definitely go back into Sword and Shield and then try and set myself up to get cool things. So. I should definitely be on the Sword and Shield grind a little bit more, but I don't know, it's just like other- I've been playing a lot of other games, so it's like... Eh. And even then, with Sword and Shield, I just didn't really find a whole lot to do outside of like when you finish the DLC. Like, I didn't want to go through the... Um... What are they called? I can't think of them off the top of my head. The Raid Dens, uh, but it's the one that you get in the Crown Tundra. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. But I don't want to go through and do all that and then not get the Legendary. Sniff, I do apologize. This is an exclusive establishment open only to a few. You might consider it a special stage for the cream of the crowd. If you wish to enter, I suggest you start collecting a lot of ribbons. How many, how many ribbons do I need? My team doesn't have ribbons? Yeah, I have ribbons from being the play four. Is it because Rotom's out front? What does this say? Ribbon Syndicate, members only. I mean, I guess. I don't know how else to get ribbons in this game. Do you get them? Do you get them from beating people in the battle tower? Cause maybe if I beat the maybe if I beat the battle tower guy, I'll get a ribbon. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up all the little extra things that you can find over in this area. Let me just swap you back up front. I feel like if the Elite Four rematches are what I believe they are to be, we might actually be in a bit of trouble. Because I have heard that they are difficult. But I guess we can kind of gauge that based around the Gym Leader rematches as, as well. Because, I mean, we do have a level 80 Mon on our team, and most of our team is in the 70s, so, and this is, and we're, we're doing a lot of the things in the game, so I would assume that we won't be, like, drastically underleveled, but I feel like we might be pretty, we might be underleveled going into the art of League 4 rematches, if they are to believe, if I'm to believe what they were, but, again, I don't know, because I've been trying to keep most of the game blind 
when it comes to that type of stuff, just so I don't feel like I'm being spoiled with uh, things. Alright, Spinda, that's easily died to one Thunderbolt. But yeah, I'm wondering if when I do the Battle Tower stuff, because the thing is, I don't want to do all that just yet, because, like, if I got the win streak done, I would have definitely shown it off in a video. But, with the fact that we actually ended up losing our streak because of the Grumpig, that made us hit ourselves in confusion, um... I actually want to run in there with the strategy that I normally have when it comes to uh, doing Battle Tower stuff in the game. So having uh, Gyarados with Intimidate, that's always going to be a must-have for me, so... I'm going to make sure I have that. I'm going to make sure I have probably a Rotom Heat. I know Rotom Frost is what we're using currently, but I'll probably just breathe another Rotom to get Heat, and then go from there. The thing is, is I also need to find a Flame Body Mon before I get into breeding stuff, because if I don't, then I'm going to be stuck for a little while when it comes to hatching eggs. Because hatching eggs in this game is kind of a pain. Kind of. So I don't know how much shiny hunting I'll actually do in this game regarding, like, the Masuda method, but we'll have to see. Alright, this guy gave us a nugget, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What's up here? Flower store. That can be useful, yeah. There's a lot more people on this route than I remember. There are a lot more people in this route than I remember. Bramble? Alright, Intimidate. I kind of want to just Blizzard this thing because I feel like I can kill him. And I was right about that. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. You're killing it out there. You won't let me win. Why would the, why the hell would I let you win? Come on now. What you're not gonna do is be like when we when our eyes meet, we battle. Why would I let you win? You found a scrap of a of Reaper Claw. Excuse me, Altaria. Okay, we got ourselves a double battle here. And since we have a decent amount of time, I want to make sure I get the route above us because I don't want to sit here... Basically, I don't want to sit here and use another episode up just to explore the route above us and then be like, oh, that's all we got. Like, I kind of want to just... Like, if I'm going to finish exploring stuff, I might as well just finish all the little extra areas, and then we can take the next couple episodes after that to go back into, you know, catching legendaries, if need be. Uh, I'm gonna Thunderbolt the Dust Bombs because I definitely think with an Intimidate off and Earthquake, he's probably gonna, he's probably gonna live. So... There we go, I was right about that judgment. We got a crit on the Mighty Anna. That's tough. That is tough, buddy. Curlia. I'm gonna see other mod. I'm really surprised. So you're telling me we can't have Salamences or Dragonites in the fucking Stark Mountain, but we can have Random Dude here have 
Random Ace Trainer, might I add. He can have the Salamence instead. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I'm glad my 70% accuracy move missed both my targets. Fun. I had a crit on the Salamence. Cool. Yeah, he should miss. I really should have went for a Gardevoir on my team in this game. I don't know why I didn't. But you can't predict you can't predict the shiny happening with our uh, Altaria, so I can't be mad about that. But I think team wise, a Gardevoir would have been perfect if we didn't get the damn Altaria. Can we I swear to God, if I keep missing, I'm gonna lose my damn mind. I feel like he's slower than my Torterra because I'm 23 levels higher than him, so. Yep, he is. Anyways, lol. Alright, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna fucking take this Ice Beam to the face and you're gonna die. Got it? And you're gonna get a crunch as well, because Join wanted to have her quick claw pop. Let's go up another route. We're at 220. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. They made the sandstorm ridiculous. A little bit excessive. Oh, I'm so glad that they made using the bike a little bit easier in this game. Because I remember getting up that little uphill slab there. It used to be a pain in the ass. It used to be so bad. So bad to deal with when I was a kid. I'm trying to think, is this where you get the... Like, Frenzy Plant, Blast Burn... Things like that. I want to say yes. But I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. Alright, level 69. Nice. That is very much nice. Duskull's coming in. Psychic type trainer, by the way, with Duskulls. Well, not necessarily Duskulls, plural, but ghost types. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense if you ask me, but. Whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever tickles your pickle. Whatever tickles your pickle. What I saw in the future turned out to be true. What, you got your ass whipped because you fucking said, yeah, let me train up ghost types and not evolve them. What is this? What is this foolishness? What is this ridiculousness? More tomato berries. It's weird because there's no like proper berry. Like, it, do you remember like Gen 3 or Gen 6 where they had like multiple berry fields where you could just plant stuff? Like, I wish that was in this game. Uh, so uh, universe me meant time and space in an ancient language. I gotta get back on the bike again. I didn't have to get back on the bike again. No, I'm trying to get off the bike. Thank you. Because I don't need to be on it anymore. Alright, we got this person here.
Ace Trainer Megan, what do you got for us? Delcaddy? You really, you really told yourself, yes. This is the one Pokemon I want to train up. Like, I don't hate Delcaddy. I think the one thing that bothers me about Delcaddy is that there's, like, nothing good about it. Like, it's, it's unfortunate. And also, for the longest time, I didn't know Delcaddy evolved with the Moonstone. Oh, Skitty evolved with Moonstone. Delcaddy doesn't evolve again. Yanma? Oh, I've been actually wanting to find one of these for a while. I hope Yanma's not version exclusive, because if he if he is, then I'm going to be a sad panda, to be honest. But if he's not a version exclusive, I want to find me one and mess around with Yan Mega. Also, Yanma's shiny is really, really nice, so that's another reason why I want one. Alright. Oh, there's... Okay, there's multiple items. Alright, so there's one. This way, which is a shiny stone. That could be useful. Excuse me. Just keeps wearing repels. What's up right now? Oh, this is a shortcut. Okay. I don't need to worry about this then, because I don't need to take a shortcut through the rest of this route. I mean, there's probably going to be an item over there if I had to imagine. Sandstorm. Okay. That's cool. Let's go ahead and get into a battle with these two. And let's get it going. We got ourselves Trap Pinch and Execute. Surely... I mean, there's a chance that Trap Inch could have Arena Trap right now. But... He better wish he doesn't. Otherwise, he's gonna get a whole lot of ass whooping right now. A whole lot of ass whooping. By yours truly. Blizzard. Dead, both of you. Yep. Critical head on trampage. Damn, that's tough. That is tough, buddy. Hold 69. Nice. Oh my god, so many animations. Stop it! other mons. Ursaring. And what else? The Bravo. Alright, so I still should I should still go for Blizzard is what I'm being told basically. And then I can flare blitz here. Of course we're Bravo avoids the attack. We might have Sandbell to be honest. It's very much possible that if Bravo had oh no this does it get he might have Levitate. He might actually have Levitate. What am I talking about? I'm saying this false information. Simply not true. I honestly might change clothes before I go to my next class. Not like not that like I'm overly dirty or anything like that. It's just. If I go there wearing this stuff, I feel like I'm just gonna be like slouched or just not really caring the entire time. And you know, I'm probably not going to be, to be fair, but I also want to just have decent warm clothes because it's gonna be cold. And if I'm going home tonight, I need to wait for the shuttle, so I need to be warm somewhat. Somewhat. Alright. What? Um. The house here. What do you have? You're, are you the 
guy I was thinking about? Yep. Charizard type explosion, Blaziken, and Infernape. Flash, Toys for Alligator, Swamp, and Bullion. Neosaur, Meganium, Sceptile, and Torterra. I don't know, that gives me a sign that not all the Pokemon are going to be added in the game. I know it doesn't matter, but... You know, it's just the motto of catching them all. I like, I like it. <laughs> and I'm trying to do it, so... Just let me have all of them in one game. Please. Please don't hold anything back. Oh. Okay. We'll do it. Ambipom? Do you want me to treat this like a Wi-Fi battle, or do you want me to treat this like... What? I'm running low on PP with the uh, Rotom. I guess I guess I have been leading off with him like the entirety of the time or the entire time, so I should probably put someone else out in front. Maybe just maybe. What do we got? Rapidash. Um we'll go into we'll go into Trident for this. Oh, I need to put seals on for Rotom and uh, Flareon, so that way they feel special. I know it's kind of late for that, but I just need I need to put seals on for them so they don't feel they don't feel like outcasts. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna go into Flareon. I'm gonna Flare Blitz the shit out of this thing. So, catch this. I'm gonna have a lot of recoil damage, but you know what? I don't care. How much am I getting? Wowzers. <laughs> that was a lot more than I was even anticipating. That's alright, because we knocked it out. We're all good. I want to say there's like... Oh, there's two more people. I was about to say, I think there's one more person we can fight, but... I lied. There's two. There's two. He's got Mankey. I really need to put somebody else out front and not Rotom. Um, yeah, because we're out of... We are out of those moves. I guess we could put Altaria out. Why not? I'm still shocked that Altaria got this far ahead, especially because it's not like holding Lucky Egg or anything like that, so... When it came to levels, like, I didn't think it had that much of a faster EXP game than the rest of our party, but... Whatever, I guess. So, let's go ahead and Moonblast. We definitely didn't need a crit. It was, the Mankey was 30 levels under. He definitely didn't need to get critted to die. Alright, Makamita. I'm gonna Moonblast this thing. Dunzo. Ariana. Uh, I want to say a Moonblast 
could kill him from here. I mean, we're 30 levels higher. I would assume it would. Thank you. <laughs> My spirit is broken. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Alright, one more battle, and then we're pretty much on to, like, special episodes from this point forward, so that's fun. That's always a good thing. I, did, I just didn't swap out Rotom again. What is, what is wrong with me? What, what, will it what will it take for me to remember? Alright, I'm gonna go into Torterra for this. Does this thing only have one Mon, or does he have two? I feel like he has two. I'll be on the one though. Send headbutt. Little mouth. He's got two. Yeah, I kinda figured he would've. Alright, we got the quick flop pop. Hey yo. Let's get it. Nice. Level 70. Everyone on our team is fine level, level 70. Let's go. That's that's hype. That's very hype, actually. Sand Slash coming out. Yeah, I definitely think I should take a nap before my class tonight, but before I take said nap, I need to make... This motherfucker has Sand Bill. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Anyways, besides that... Um, I, wanna, I definitely think I should take a nap before tonight's class, just because I want to feel a little bit refreshed before I go in. Uh, I probably should do it soon, because it's 3.53 now, I have class at 6, I want to take like an hour to maybe like an hour 15 nap. And I want to make sure I have enough time for food to go grab food before I actually feel like I have to go and walk over to class. Which as long as I'm not pushing, as long as I'm not pushing time really, I should be, I should be okay. Okay, we got a protector, that's good. Oh, I need to use my fight roll. Let me go down here. I knew there was an item over this way. Got an iron, that's cool. Is that everything that's over here? And I didn't switch Rotom again, but he's a dragon tamer, so you should have dragons. How many mods you got? One? Dragonite? Gyarados. Oh! It's not even a dragon, and I don't have any more Thunderbolts. So, that's fun. Should I just blizzard him anyways? I mean, stab would be like 100, what, 165 base power? So it'd be, it'd be stronger than doing Thunder Wave Hex. Oh, thank god you changed the ring. I mean, that's not gonna change anything for me, my blizzard accuracy, but thank god you changed the ring. Catch this. He lived, which I expected him to. I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh my god, he lived! I, I expected him to live. So, let's go ahead and hex him. Just finish him off. And boom. All right, so with that, that should be the last big bulky episode of this series. I'm just going to do a quick loop down here real quick. I don't think there's anything down here. Now this just takes us to that shortcut. All right, so with that, uh, this should be the last big bulky episode of this series uh, because all the other episodes will be cut up 
into smaller chunks. So all of the rest of the legendaries, uh, which I'm actually going to fly down to Romanos Park right now, just because... Actually, no, I'm going to fly to Sanjum Town to heal, and then I'm going to fly to Romanos Park. But... This should be the last, like, 30-plus minute episode. I'm not saying that none of the other episodes can't be long. Uh, but it's going to be very unlikely. So, we'll have more legendaries. I don't know how many more slates are actually... Like, I don't know if there's going to be more slates for us to unlock. Uh after the five that we have to get now? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we have the... Because we have, we already did the distortion slate. We have the genome, stratospheric, tectonic, oceanic, and rainbow. And we need either eight more small shards or we need three more large ones in order to get uh, all the slates done. So I don't know if there's going to be any more after those, but realistically, if we're going to map out how many more videos there should be, there's going to be five for more legendaries. Uh, we'll have eight for all the gym leader rematches, and we'll have another five for the Elite Four rematches, and that should be the end of the series right there. So there's probably about 18 more episodes before we actually officially uh, end this series off. And even then, there's gonna be one more video where we do a Wi-Fi battle against our our good old buddy, old pal, Drakester. So, yeah, if you guys are hyped, or if you guys enjoyed this video and are either happy to see this series end, sad to see this series end, please hit that uh, like button and show your support by clicking subscribe as well. Uh, it'd be very much appreciated. Um, It'd also be cool if you guys follow the, the socials, like TikTok and Twitter. Both those are linked in the description below. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Have yourselves a great day, and peace.